the hell did I ask what I remember what? You said, uh, how does it make you feel when you... Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, three, two, one. How does it make you feel? Being a bus driver is a pretty tough job. Yes, it is. And uh, actually, uh, uh, you get to cruise the city and get paid for it. And uh, uh, you get a high on the bus. It's like performing on stage. Okay, and a lot of people pat me on the back, said they had the most wonderful ride they ever had. You must have met interesting people over the years with your uh, repertoire. I met people from all over the world. You name a country, I met them. And, and, uh, and you've, you've, um, three, two, one. And you've been recognized in the international press also. What are some of the things, pictures, and stories that you've had? Well, I was written up on the New York Times three times with pictures. Uh, last June, I was invited to the Smithsonian in Washington. They had a festival about New York City, and I had to represent the company. I also done two cooking shows uh, in the Smithsonian, you know, and uh, I'm trying to get a hold of those tapes. And uh, I was written up on the New York Observer, the Bronx Times, and I've done Japanese TV and three radio interviews, including Italian radio. Uh -huh. How was the Japanese TV thing go? It went pretty well. Uh, they filmed me on the bus, on my house, and it's so funny. Uh, uh, I speak in English. I'm talking in English on the bus, and, uh, and, and there's somebody in the background speaking Japanese. And uh, I still don't know what they're saying until this day. How did, uh, what, what led you to get interested in New York City Facts? Uh, well, the kind of job that I do, it's like, uh, you know, when, when they put a microphone on the bus, that, that was it for me. You know, uh, I figured uh, for the tourists, for the tourists, and a lot of uh, New Yorkers don't know the origin of the street names, for example, okay, they don't know the history of Canal Street, the history of Central Park, tidbits like that, that, uh, that uh, they find very amusing and very informative. Did you ever wonder if you weren't a bus driver? I mean, what would you have been? Well, I was stage struck when I was a kid, and, uh, and uh, I'm a <laughs> I was stage struck when I was a kid. I mean, show business was always my life. I remember Johnny Carson show from the 60s and 70s, you know. And uh, okay, um, let's see. We don't want to go in. Your 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 um, your show is kind of interactive. Do you ever take requests? You ready? Okay. Am I still out of the scene there, good? Three, two, one. What you do is interactive. Do you ever take requests? Yes, I do, and a lot of people want to know uh, the street origins, you know, uh, any particular one. I tell them I look it up for them. And uh, I do audience participation, okay? And I do a little quiz on the bus. And I tell them the winner of each question will win a free bus map. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about the comedy? It, you let people decide whether they want trivia or comedy. How do you decide what you do? Well, I, uh, I, it's, I take a vote. I take a vote on the bus and I ask them what they want. And usually I do both. Uh -huh. you know. uh, usually my best audience is on a Friday. I call a Monday audience, Tuesday and Wednesday sedated. I call them they're sedated because they, they stress out at the beginning of the week. Uh -huh. And my best audience comes on a Friday. Well, what's your best show ever? My best show ever, I had many best shows. Many best shows, yeah, I had a lot of them. And they, you know, and they pat me on the back and it's great. Do you, uh, you get regulars that just come on the bus and stay on the bus for a while? Oh, I can't get them off my back. They come on my bus, I'm so glad I seen you. Where have you been? You know, and uh, they bring their kids on the bus and uh, uh, sometimes they're like leeches, I can't get them.